All right, let's dive into one of the biggest puzzles in all of science. You've heard of dark matter and dark energy, right? Well, what if the solution isn't some new exotic particle or a hidden dimension? What if the answer has been right here, all around us the entire time, woven into the very fabric of so-called empty space? To really get a handle on just how massive this problem is, just look at this. This is our universe. See that tiny little sliver, just 5%? That's everything we know. It's stars, planets, galaxies, you, me, everything. The other 95%? We have no clue. It's a complete mystery, a cosmic ghost that we've had to split into two different problems, dark matter and dark energy. So let's get into it. Let's really unpack this 95% problem, the universe's great dark secret. You know, our standard model of the universe is, it's amazing, it works beautifully, but there's a huge catch. It only holds together if we basically plug in these two giant fudge factors. We can't see them, we can't touch them, we've never ever detected them directly. And yet, everything we observe out there in the cosmos screams that they have to be there. And get this, it's not even just one mystery, it's two completely different ones. On one side, we need some kind of cosmic glue, extra gravity to hold galaxies together and stop them from just flying apart. And on the other side, we need a sort of cosmic anti-gravity, something that's hitting the gas pedal on the entire universe, making it expand faster and faster. The standard model says we need two totally separate unknown things to solve these two problems. And that leads us to a really radical question, which is the whole foundation of the theory we're talking about today. What if we've been looking for things, for particles, that just aren't there? What if dark matter and dark energy are really just two symptoms of a single, much deeper process happening in space itself? And that question takes us right here to thinking about the vacuum of space in a whole new way. Is it really the big, empty nothing we always thought it was? Okay, so the seed for this whole new way of thinking was planted by a physicist named Dragan Hajukovic. He started with something we actually know from quantum physics, that empty space isn't empty at all. It's actually fizzing with these virtual particles that pop into and out of existence all the time. He looked at that quantum weirdness and asked a simple but absolutely profound question. What if these little ghost particles actually interact with gravity? So Hodjakovich came up with this idea of gravitational dipoles. The best way to think about them is like microscopic fleeting compass needles, but for gravity. He proposed that what we call empty space is really this seething ocean of these tiny dipoles, all pointing in completely random directions. So, what happens when you drop something really, really massive, like an entire galaxy, right into the middle of this churning sea of gravitational compass needles? Well, that's where a totally new effect might come into play. Now, building on Hajudakovich's initial idea, another researcher, Damir Julevich, took it and built it out into a complete, mathematically sound framework. He calls it Quantum Vacuum Polarization Gravity, or QVPG for short, and its entire goal is to bring the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy together under one single theoretical roof. Okay, the core idea is actually really simple to grasp if you think about it like a parable. Imagine you sprinkle a bunch of tiny iron filings all around a magnet. The magnet's field snaps them all into alignment, right? And those aligned filings actually make the magnetic field even stronger. Well, QVPG says the exact same thing happens with gravity. A galaxy's massive gravity aligns or polarizes that sea of virtual dipoles in the space around it. And here's the kicker. That polarized space then starts generating its own extra gravitational field. So, how on earth could this one single mechanism, this polarization of empty space, actually solve both of our biggest cosmic mysteries at the same time? And this right here is the most elegant, the most beautiful part of the whole theory. Instead of needing two completely different exotic things to make the universe work, QVG says dark matter and dark energy are just two sides of the very same coin. They're just different effects of how the quantum vacuum behaves. Let's break it down. First, the dark matter problem. Why are galaxies spinning so fast they should fly apart? The QVG solution is brilliantly simple. There is no invisible cloud of dark matter particles. The extra gravity that's holding the galaxy together, it's coming from the polarized vacuum around the galaxy. It's not new stuff, it's just an effect that the galaxy's own matter has on the space it sits in. So then, what about dark energy? the mysterious force accelerating the universe's expansion, the theory has an answer for that too. It says the quantum vacuum, even when it's not being polarized, has a kind of natural baseline energy, a constant background hum. 
and QVPG proposes that this fundamental energy of space itself, that's the dark energy we've been looking for. It's the constant gentle push that's been there all along. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. This sounds like a really cool story, a really neat idea, but does it actually hold up? Is there any real science behind it? And the answer is, yeah, absolutely. What makes this theory so compelling is that the math actually works. It plays nice with Einstein's general relativity, check. It reproduces the expansion of the universe we see, check. It even passes all the gravity tests right here in our own solar system, which is a huge hurdle that trips up a lot of other ideas. It's stable, it's causal, and it avoids all these weird theoretical problems that have plagued other alternative gravity theories. It's, it's solid. So what's next? Well, any good scientific theory has to make predictions you can actually go out and test, and QVPG does exactly that. It predicts there should be unique signatures in the way light bends around galaxies, in the afterglow of the Big Bang, even in gravitational waves. So now astronomers and physicists can go out and hunt for that very specific evidence. The hunt is on. And that kind of leaves us with this final, really mind-bending thought. If this theory turns out to be correct, it does so much more than just solve dark matter and dark energy. It completely changes our picture of reality. It means empty space isn't the passive stage where the universe happens. No, it's an active, dynamic player in the cosmic drama. And that just makes you wonder, if all that is true, what other secrets are hiding out there in the vacuum?